Hi, I'm Laura the Beauty Buster, and I was recently featured in InStyle Magazine as the best eyebrow shaper in New Jersey for 2012. So I thought it'd be really fun to show you some of my tips and tricks that I learned when I was training with Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I've traveled all over the country training women how to reclaim the frame of their brows. So today I have a model, Tina, and she's going to let me wax her brows, shape them, fill them in, and show you how you can reclaim the frame of your face. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our angle brush and kind of put it right into her nostril right here and see where her brows should start. As you can see, she's missing a little bit in the front there. So right there. And then we're going to go across the tip of her nose, across her iris, and that's where her arch should be. It's pretty much in the right spot. And then we're going to go from the corner of the nose to the corner of the eye, and that's where her brow should end, which is right about there. And we're going to make little marks. So those are our three marks. Then I'm going to take this stencil, which I find it makes so much more sense to fill in the brow first and then wax around it. This way you can check it out, look at it, and then see if that's what you really want to do. And I just fill it in. It doesn't need to be neat. And I know that this is the stencil I want to use for her because it's her natural shape. And you can see her brow pretty much fits right in there and she's just missing a little bit at the end. And so I know that I'm going to kind of go around. Just going to fill this in so I see that line clearly. And you want to have a straight line from the beginning of the brow into the arch. And then you're going to go straight down. And of course, I'm going to leave these, like I said before. And if I feel like I need to tweeze some of those, I'll do like the fine tuning after I wax her. And I want most of this brow to fit into the arch. And I can see she has one hair sticking straight up here, so I'm just going to trim it a little bit. And then she has another hair sticking straight up here and a couple over here. I'm just going to trim them so they're, they fall in line with the rest of the brow. I like to wear magnifying glasses when I work so I can really see all the hairs, especially if you have a client whose um, hair and skin are very close in tone. You can miss a lot of hair and not even know it. So I like to get really precise. I like to start with the middle. And then I hold tight, and you can see how nice and clean that is. You always want them to close their eyes so their lashes don't get stuck in the wax. And I'm going to go right along that line I made, and then I'm going to go down. And I love using these sticks. They are amazing. You can really get right in there. Even when you break a big stick, it's not the same. You definitely want something that's going to give you precision. I'm going to press this in. I'm going to hold her skin and then rip. And you can see we, she doesn't need a lot of hairs to be removed, just a few. But we literally are splitting hairs here. Now I'm going to do the top part, which remember I see you need to be really careful with. And I'm kind of just going to follow it around, come to a stop there, and then go down. You want to be really careful not to make it too rounded. And I just fold this over, place it on there, and then rip. You want to be careful. A lot of women have hair going all the way down. You want to make sure you get all of that. Tina's lucky. She doesn't have that. Some people like to make their brows really um, arched. And that's always the first thing women come in asking for an arched brow. To get that, you have to have something to work with. So your brows really need to be um, larger rather than smaller in order for that to happen. I'm going to use a little wax remover and cleaner. And then I'm going to go back in with my tweezers. And then we're also going to fill it in and use a little bit of a highlighter as well.
Now when I'm tweezing, I'm actually using my finger here and my, the side of my hands to stretch her skin so it's less painful. And it really allows the hairs to pop up so I can grab them so I don't clip her skin. And so you can see, if you zoom in on, with the camera right here, you can see right in there, she kind of has a hole, a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to take powder and we're going to fill in that hole. And same thing on the other side, if you look right in here, it's a little sparse right there. But you can fix that really easy. Okay. And so I'm filling in her brows and I'm using the top part here with the pencil just to fill in. Create the shape a little bit and fill in that little gap in there. And then this is one of the most important parts that a lot of women don't do, especially when using a pencil. Uh, they don't brush it through and blend it. And that's what's going to make it look really natural. And so there are, sometimes you'll, they'll leave with, with uh, stray hairs, but I've already gone over with them that those are hairs that we're going to um, leave, so when they fill it in, we're almost like connecting the dots with the hairs to, to create the proper brow. And the stencils are a really good way for women to see what shape their brow should be. Most people can't really visualize what their brow should be. And if they've had it thin for a long time, they're going to be a little freaked out when they see a full brow. And I am extending her brow just a little bit, just to make it more complete. Okay, and then I'm going to sit her up. We're going to check her out sitting up straight and see how her brows look and then complete the look. Since Tina wanted a more natural brow, uh, we definitely went in with the pencil. And you can see we filled in a little bit here. We softened it up here and then extended it down the end. And then I took my brush, and this is just an old mascara wand, and I just brushed it through really gentle just to make it the color that we want it to be. It should match her hair. Whatever color her brows are, that's what color you need to put into your brow. If her hair was blonde and she had dark brows like this, you would be using a dark um, pencil to fill in her brows. And then a little trick, which I love, we're just gonna take this highlighter pencil, and you can use any highlighter. You can use a, a shimmery um, powder, and we're just gonna go from the arch over and down a little bit like that. You don't want to go all the way over, unless you're a drag queen. So we're just going to go, and then you just take your finger, kind of smudge it in a little bit, and you can see, if you smudge it in well, that's going to give her a little bit of a lift on that brow. If you look from one side to the other, it's going to give her a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a highlight. And if you have brows that are not really well defined, this is definitely going to define them. And then if we went on to the other side, just from the arch over, And you can just smudge it in. Doesn't need to be exact. You do want to make sure you don't rub your brow off. And you can see that just gives her a little bit of a highlight and a little bit more uh, arch to the brow if she doesn't have the biggest arch or she wants to create a little bit more drama.